No, I'm good. Okay. <laughs> All right, guys, fire away. All right, you got a chance to get the first touchdown uh, last week against uh, the Ravens. How did it feel? What was the play call? Take us through that. Uh, I don't feel well because we didn't come out with a dub, but uh, when Pat threw me the ball, the middle of the field was open, and I just turned up vertical, and I made one defender miss, and uh, I seen Tyreek on the left-hand side of me, and uh, his man was guarding him, was coming close to me, and I just gave him a right foot in the ground and just outran him to the end zone. How, how good does that feel, Byron, knowing that that's one of the things you tried to improve on this offseason was your quickness and your speed? Uh, I feel good to be able to move better, uh, feel better, uh, have a lot of energy now uh, due to because I lost weight this offseason and uh, just trying to keep improving. You also kind of escorted Travis Kelsey into the end zone on his touchdown. And you guys had great blocks on that. Just how good does that feel to, you know, to help a teammate get in the end zone? Oh, uh, yes, sir. I got that mentality. I, I don't stop to the whistle blow. So I just keep working. And uh, any defender by me, or if I see them about to make a tackle, I, if I'm in the area, I try to block them. Everybody in that in the wide receiver room has their own skills and are a little bit different. What is it that you feel like separates you that makes you a little bit different receiver to target than the other guys? Uh, I just got that one and no mentality, you know. I'm pretty sure they do too, but I feel like I it's a it's a it's a war zone to me because I'm not trying to lose my battle. And if the other 10 guys doing have that same man, mentality, we'll come out with the dub. So as long as I, if I'm pulling my weight, the other 10 pulling their weight, we'll come out with the dub. So I just had that one and no mentality. Mark, right, you talk about the mentality of you know, having one and no mentality. But when, when you notice that, that guys like Travis and, and Tyree um, you know, are getting more of the balls thrown their way, uh, how does that keep you, you know, going? What, what are your thoughts on that? As long as we come out with the dub at the end of the day, I, I, them guys, they special. First off, uh, you know, with that with that special talent and minds with me with the one and no mentality, it's something that you can't you can't stop, uh, can't coach that mentality. You can't t- uh, coach that if it's not in you, it's just not in you. So when you got that, plus the talent with eight or seven and ten have, it's great. When you look at the Sunday's game, what challenges do you see uh, with their defensive backfield with the wide receivers? Can you say that again? With this weekend's game coming up against the Chargers, what 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 do you see or what have you seen on film thus far that will bring up some challenges to to your wide receiver core? Uh, you know, we just got to go out there and keep doing what we're doing. Just keep going at a high speed. Uh, don't uh, slow down to their level, you know, and just keep keep moving the ball. You had a full house at Arrowhead and then a full house on the road. How much different does this feel compared to last year, especially, and just uh, you know, the intensity from fans and the players on the field to get their crack at the Chiefs, especially those road games. Uh, it's just a uh, a blessing to have those fans come out because, you know, at Arrowhead, all the fans come out. It doesn't matter the weather. They're coming out, and they got that positive energy, and they're going to yell for a four-quarter straight, and it just boosts us up and uh, just give us an extra push, push. How much different did it feel like in Baltimore? Last year you guys went to Baltimore. I think there were – Four or five hundred people there, right? Because they had maybe friends and family in. What did it, just like? How much more hard is the road going to be now? With that, you mentioned what arrow it is with th- that same kind of feeling on the road. Uh, you know, it, it helped the the home team because they have the the crowd. But to us, we just block the noise out and we practice with noise when we have a road game. So it's nothing new to us. So we just go out there and execute, and we'll come out on top. Are there anything that you notice differently? How has he been with you guys in the huddle that is maybe different from when you first were with the team? Uh, to me, he's still the same Pat since I've been here. Uh, he worked hard, uh, a great leader, and uh, he put he put us in the right position uh, and situational ball to be in the right spot at the right time. So I don't think there's no change. Uh, you, I, I guess how, how would you say he uh, – how does he show his leadership best? Uh, with the ball, like getting us in the end zone, uh, scoring, moving the ball downfield with ease and uh, just making the correct reads and, and throwing the ball on time. Uh, Byron, do you think 
plays in just a variety of ways, whether it be scoring touchdowns or kick return, blocking for other guys. How much pride do you take in just being a complete player and contributing in different ways? I take it. I take it personal. Like I said, I, don't, I got the one one and no mentality, and uh, I want to win at the end of the day. If the coaches put me in, uh, obviously they see that I can contribute to the team uh, coming out with the dub at the end of the day. So I go out there and don't make them feel like they did the wrong move by putting me in that position. So I go out there with a high motor, me with a high motor, and uh, just try to dominate my man. Coach Reed and Patrick both talked about your potential with more and more opportunities, and it sounds like you're, you're going to be getting more and more opportunities as it goes along. What does that mean to you? I mean, what do you feel like is your potential if you think it was getting more work? Uh, Obviously, it seemed like the the off season paid off. Uh, uh, just go out there and execute. They put me out there. I'm gonna go out there and execute at a high level and uh, just be me. There's no pressure, you know, and uh, just be calm and relaxed. But just an applying pressure the whole four quarters while I'm in there. What's it mean to you that you've won the trust of those guys like like Coach Reed and Patrick? It means a lot because as he a Hall of Fame coach, uh, Patrick, on it on his way to be one of the uh, best quarterbacks in the league and uh see that my, my off season training working and uh I'm gaining trust from those guys and uh it's just a blessing to be in this position. Okay, any thoughts on your uh, your Wildcats playing down in Oklahoma State? They're ranked this year. Can you say it again? K hey, State's ranked uh, 25th this week and they're going on the road to play at Oklahoma State. What do you think? Uh we're gonna come out with that uh Ema baby. <laughs> Ema baby, let's go. Thanks, Myron. All right, y'all. Chase State, you got to keep on